Hello. Welcome back to another pen talk. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for continuing to watch. I try to bring something different, something interesting, something that I found in my travels. We like going to the local craft show. It's always interesting. It's always fun. You never know what you might find there. So this caught my attention. I thought I might share it with you. To help you understand what it is, this is the name of the company. Here's their website. And the product is a spiral accessory case, which to me looks like it could be a very interesting pen sleeve, pen holder. So what's interesting about the company is they make their products out of fish skin that has been turned into leather and it's tilapia and it, it's very good because it's continuing to use all the parts of the fish which is always a good thing so the first thing that strikes you is it's a very nice substantial zipper there it's a beautiful color it comes in a lot of colors. Here's some of them that are on the website. It feels good to the hand. The stitching looks very good. So let's undo the zipper and see what it looks like on the inside. So it's recommended just to do it part way. And obviously we had a filler in there which it's good to have it retain its shape and look nice when it's sitting on the desk or on the table in the craft show. Very nice liner in there. Again, feels good to the hand. So I think you're going to ask, Chris, what would you do and how would you put pens in there? So let me show you what I would do. So how many pens will fit in there? Well, let's see what I was able to put in here. Part of the thing with a case like this that doesn't have any pen slots in it and there is a potential that there may be a version of this in the future with slots in it for pens but here are two pens which sometimes you get nice little sleeves with your pens this is one my granddaughter made for me she's experimenting with sewing and here's a nice Moonman M600S, which is not a small pen. And in this one, being a full win case, it has the 017, which again is also not a small pen. So those two pens fit in here fine. You don't probably need a sleeve for both of them, so you could put one in a sleeve, one not in a sleeve. And if you had thinner pens, you might put three in there, but I think that would be the limit. But what makes this, to me, a very unique item is no one else will have one of these. It's a good conversation starter because it's made from a very unique leather that I didn't know existed until I came across it at a craft show. So let's look at some other pen cases and hopefully Coldemar will see this video and, and maybe it'll inspire them to expand their line of cases to include some that might be very specific for us in the pen community. So here's one I did a review on a while ago from Manhattan Portage. It has a heavy duty zipper similar to the fish skin one. And if you open it up, you'll see this has the slots in it for different types of pens. This will hold five and two good size ones and three medium to small ones. So imagine this in fish skin. So here's a nice well-designed roll-up pen carrier. Recognizable design. Yes, it's a rickshaw. This one is extremely well made. Nice ballistic nylon, nice design and decoration. And you know, a place for a number of pens, nice velvet liner in there. So again, something that might look interesting in a 
similar form and function made out of fish skin. This one could be made out of octopus skin if there was such a thing that they tanned. Here's some other form factors of single pen cases. This one's nice because it has a little insert in there so you could potentially put two pens in here if you so desire. Put that clip inside there. It's a little, you know, it fits well and protects the pen. Then we have uh, this interesting one, really like the design, and this is just very simple. Slide the pen in there. This is probably my favorite design. It's simplistic, and it would look cool in fish skin leather. And of course the kimono, which has been very popular. You don't get in as many pens as you used to, but I think that, you know, the price point that they're trying to get in pens just make it more difficult to include this. And I much prefer the pen price to be more reasonable and not include a case, but if it does, it's nice if it, is, it looks good and is functional. So what is the future for this spiral accessory case? In summary, I would say it's about the cutest little pen case that I've come across. And I like it. And sometimes two pens are all you need to throw in your bag or your case or your knapsack or maybe even put them in your pocket. This would work to protect them in your pocket. And when you bring out this case, uh, it's certainly, like I said, uh, going to be an eye catcher. And it is very functional. I love this heavy duty zipper. It's going to last a while. And you can put two pens in it. Like I say, um, I'll stay in touch with Col Demar and who knows what we might come up with. And I'll certainly be more than happy to share them with you, my viewers. We reached the end of this video. Give a shout out to something new, something unique, and something I think that looks really good and functional which are an excellent combination. We've reached the end of this video. There'll be no writing, but sometimes you've got to look at other things that work with the pens that you carry around. May you have a great day. May you have a great life. Explore the world of pens, and not just limited to pens, inks, and paper, but accessories also are very nice. We're going to say bye for now. See you in the next video.